His fans call him Jez, and they chanted, Jez, we can. They loved it when he said a Labour government would spend more on housing and education and take more tax from business. He put his popularity within the Labour Party in a wider context. Across Europe and North America and elsewhere, people are fed up with a so-called free market system that has produced grotesque inequality, stagnating living standards and many calamitous foreign wars without end, and a political stitch-up which leaves the vast majority of people shut out of power. There was a standing ovation when he apologised again for the Iraq war and he promised to stop British weapon sales to Saudi Arabia. But closer to home, an acknowledgement that Labour, having campaigned right for Britain to, say... to stay in the EU, is struggling to come to terms with Brexit. We did not convince millions of natural Labour voters, especially in those parts of the country left behind. Left behind by years of neglect, underinvestment and de-industrialisation. Now we have to face the future together. We're not helped by patronising or lecturing those in our communities who voted to leave. We have to hear their concerns. But this party is divided. Some loyal to the leader talk of removing or deselecting the many members of parliament who don't support him. After the speech, a critic of Corbyn spoke of reconciliation. Unity has been the watchword of this conference, and I think people recognise that you can't threaten it. It doesn't come about through, you know, threatening deselection of Labour MPs. Frankly, the only talk of deselection there should be is of Tory MPs. It comes about through understanding, through having dialogue on all the issues that Jeremy talked about in his speech. Here at the party conference, Jeremy Corbyn is a hero to thousands of people in the Labour movement. Just 18 months ago, he was an obscure backbench member of Parliament. Now, somehow, he needs to convince the wider electorate that he is a Prime Minister in waiting. We'll keep the red flag flying here. It ended with the socialist anthem, and that S word is back in fashion in Labour circles. But what about the rest of Britain? Winning them over, as Jeremy Corbyn admitted, involves climbing an electoral mountain. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, Liverpool.